How are you today? We're here for your past, present, and future love reading. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus of Virgo. Let's see what your energy is in the recent past, Virgo. Welcome to everyone. I hope everyone's doing well. Virgo, look at you. The Two of Pentacles. You are juggling something, an idea, a thought, a plan, jobs, people, whatever. So we're going to see what that is. Okay, so what do we have? Oh, Five of Swords. Ouch. Two of Pentacles juggling a situation in which you feel that you've really been treated badly. It looks like a shadow self there. You've been very sad. Four of Cups. We have to get a little... There we go. Camera focus, please. <laughs> okay, so Four of Cups energy is Cancerian energy. Five of Swords is the energy of Aquarius... And we have the Two of Pentacles, which is Capricorn. So you're just feeling really sad in the recent past. Somebody gave you a really raw deal. Somebody treated you badly. Somebody basically showed their shadow self. We could call it something else, like derriere. But it's a really mean card. It really speaks to the fact that you're really considering leaving somebody, um, you know, who's really left you in the rain, who's treated you badly. You're just over it. You are so over this energy. You are in decision-making mode for you, Virgo. Let's see. What do we have presently for our Virgo friends? Let's see what we have here. Wheel of Fortune. Ta-da! You have a change of luck. And it's, it, it's right now, my friends, right now. And you have helped yourself get to this place. Wheel of Fortune, Sagittarius energy, the Ace of Wands. You want passion. You want fiery, energetic, fun, passion, laughter, kindness, sweetness. You really, you want that big old rose. The Magician card, there you are in your reading, Virgo, manifesting. You have all the tools. You are going to get what you want. Oh my gosh, all you have to do is take action. That's all you have to do is put one foot in front of the other and you have manifested something brilliant, beautiful, new, and fiery. Let's see. Hanged man energy, Pisces energy, looking at things from a different perspective, being very calm, cool, collected, but just like hanging out, you know, in the future, you're not going to make any, any rash decisions in the near future. Two of cups, look at you, falling in love, looking at love differently, manifesting something that's really beautiful and very beneficial a relationship with kindness and love and and a very high level of emotional intelligence as well as somebody who's emotionally moral look at this four of pentacles you are holding on to somebody you're not going to let them go once you find your person you are definitely on it you're in it to win it, my friends. Let's look and see what the Moonology Oracle is going to tell us about the underlying issues that you need to look at. So let's see what we have here. What do we have? Okay. So we have prosperity lies ahead. Well, prosperity can be in any area of your life, so I feel it will be both financial as well as love. Prosperous and love abundant love okay so why do we have the two of pentacles what is the energy of the two of pentacles why is it here what were you juggling what is it that you were juggling with that capricorn energy trying to look at things in a serious way four of swords okay four of swords you were really hurt you were wounded you know you were you needed a break so you're juggling your life and you just need some rest it looks like you've taken the time in the recent past to do that. Um, Page of Pentacles, a plan. I like to call that the man or the kid with a plan. The Page of Pentacles is you have your eye on what it is that you want, and you're figuring out how to go after it. So you want something of value. You want something that eight, when we see one pentacle, it can be a ring. So it really speaks to the fact that you're very goal-oriented in terms of what you want and love right now. Why was the Five of Swords here? Tell us the story of that Five of Swords card. Why is it here? Oh, eight of Cups. Somebody walked away. 
somebody walked away. It could be you or another person, but it, I really think it probably was you, Virgo. Um, but what I'm seeing here is that, you know, when somebody treats you in that way, you just have a tendency to leave. The Ace of Wands, beautiful. The Ace of Wands and the Ace of Wands. So you really do understand. The Four of Cups is kind of a, a checklist card. It's also a card of, you know, it's sort of like somebody who's not appreciative. There's this beautiful weather going on around this person. And it does look like you were very, you were down. You were very down for a while. And you said to yourself, self, I don't want to be down. I want to take action. I want to have something beautiful. And so therefore you are in this magician energy currently. You have manifested this. You have really pulled yourself out of what could be seen as a pretty serious slump. We have the King of Cups energy is manifesting. Oh, beautiful energy for you, Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. So the King of Cups is Scorpio energy. That is a that person is someone who's very serene in their emotions. They don't talk about their emotions. They they're very balanced in their emotions. And we get the Lovers card. Look at that. The Three of Cups is clarifying the Ace of Wands. It's really the card of I want to marry my best friend. The Three of Cups is, is the bridesmaids at the at the wedding. The Ace of Coins can be the pentacle, literally the pentacle that is the ring. Now, what we see here is we have the Six of Wands, victory. Victory in love with your best friend. Oh, the Lover's card, the Magician card, the Two of Cups, Virgo. You missed your person. It looks like you were away from them for a while. All right. What we have here with the Magician card, what do we have? We have the Six of Swords energy. Well, that's the water taxi, my friends. You are manifesting a new life and a new love and a new a new a chapter, I would say. So if this is an old love that you're is continuing, you're you're really manifesting a better future for it after the tower card and you've moved away from trouble you have moved away from trouble the five of swords see the tower card came down five of swords five of swords that's pretty that's a pretty dark energy the king of pentacles there you are virgo look at you that is taurus energy but it's fellow earth sign energy you are in your magic you had you moved away you healed after a tower came down because of this five of swords energy and the king of pentacles you're just like you know what i really love my person uh the six of swords look at this twice oh my gosh so we have the Five of Swords, yep, and we have the Water Taxi again, taking you into a better space with that Manifestation card of the King of Pentacles. So you are making all the right moves right now. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. This is a beautiful energy and reading for you. Your head is in the right place. You really understand how to put the past of the pain behind you. You've done the work. It's not been easy, but you did the work. So why do we have the hanged man here for the future energy? Ace of Pentacles, oh my God, there it is. Ace of Pentacles, and we have the Three of Cups in here. You are seriously considering marrying somebody that has no idea that you may ask them to marry you. The Ace of Pentacles with the Three of Cups is the engagement set, classic tarot reading. Classic 101 tarot uh, card combination the ace of coins is the ring the three of cups are the friends and the bridesmaids who join in the celebration and this is a celebration reconciliation celebration being reunited oh look at this energy you are coming in with this fiery beautiful passionate energy virgo a lot of people don't know that virgos are known as the virgins but they really love their sex. They can be quite, quote, quote, unquote, they appear prim and proper like the librarian who takes one pin out of her hair and it falls to her shoulders. King of Wands, you have a passionate, a passionate partnership. Ace of Wands, lots of new passion coming in. But this is all happening because you're able to step up or somebody steps up to you, Virgo, 
and you just face everything head on. Ten of Cups, oh my God. Ten of Cups is happily ever after. What? Oh my God, the energy this week. Venus is in Virgo. This is your season, Virgo. Ten of Cups, happily ever after. Rainbow, rainbows, happiness, joy, divine love. Let's see what we have for the uh, Shaman's Oracle. So prosperity lies ahead. You are King of Pentacles is prosperous. The Magician is prosperous. You're prosperous in passion. You're prosperous in love. And you're prosperous in uh, your, your ability to do what's necessary. Good job. Okay, Virgo. So this is the Shaman's Dream Oracle. And it gives us advice about how to handle things. And so what we see here is limitless opportunity or possibility, limitless possibility. So it is yours. All you have to do is claim it. Love is absolutely yours. Prosperity. Oh, my God. Two prosperity cards. The magician is prosperity. The king of coins is prosperity. Okay. So for some of you, you're actually going to decide to marry someone with whom you have worked and created something artistic or something that brought prosperity to a situation in the past. Oh, Virgo, this is cool. This is a cool, cool reading for you. Okay, let's see. We have transmuting pain. Five of swords transmuting that pain. Realizing that the lover of the present is not the person from the past who hurt you most likely. Wandering between realms, straddling worlds. Now, when I get anything to do with the world card, it can be someone from a different culture, a different ethnicity, or a different country of birth. So I would say that you may be very much in love with somebody who's quite different from the norm. Virgo, it's been a joy. Thank you so much for watching the reading today. I so appreciate you. Bye-bye.